Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given factorial equation x square plus 19x minus x factorial equal to 0. And since we are going to deal with the factorials in this equation, here's an example of uh, factorials. We got 5 factorial, so 5 factorial could be written as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And now 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 could be written as 4 factorial. So therefore 5 factorial could be written as 5 times 4 factorial. Just keep in your mind we are going to use this fact in solving this given equation. So let's go ahead and revert back our attention to this equation. Let's go ahead and move this x factorial on the right hand side. So this equation is going to become x square plus 19 x equals to x factorial is going to show up on the right hand side. And in this next step, I'm going to leave this left hand side same. And on the right hand side, x factorial could be written as uh, x times uh, x minus 1 factorial by using this fact. And now let's go ahead and divide each and every term across the board by x to make things simple for us. So we are going to get x square or x is going to become x plus this is simply is going to become 19 equal to here x and x is gone. So we ended up with x minus 1 factorial on the right hand side. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and focus on this x minus 1. So to make things simple, let me go ahead and suppose that y equal to x minus 1. So then uh, x could be written as simply y plus 1. So our this equation is going to become, I'm going to replace this x by y plus 1 and then I'm going to just leave this 19 as it is. And on the right hand side, this is going to become y factorial. So that is simply going to give us uh, y plus 20 equals to y factorial, where this y is our non-negative integer. And now in this next step, we are going to pick various values of y. And by observation, we're going to check whether the statement is true. And here I have just drawn a table. And as you can see, I have just put down these y values as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and on and on and you can see the only value that is going to work for us is this y equal to 4 value because we can see on the left hand side this if I plug it in this uh, y equal to 4 value plus this 20 is that question mark is it equal to 4 factorial and we know on the left hand side 4 plus 20 is 24 and on the right hand side 4 factorial is 24 and this is indeed a true statement. So our only valid value for y equal to 4 but we know that y equal to x minus 1 so therefore our x value is going to be 5 and that is our solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 5 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.